So let's move on to Mighty Thor number 11 by uh, the d d amazing team of Jason Aaron and Russell Dortmund. Um <laughs> Oh boy. I love this book. I've just got the, the first volume of like Thor that was before Secret Wars, but was Lady Thor, Thor. And I'm rereading it. I'm halfway through it, and I just fucking love it. It's amazing. It's so good. Um, like... This one got got pretty interesting. We had last week. We had that last month. We had that cliffhanger of there's a Jane Foster's turned up um, mm. to help out Thor, thinking what the fuck's going on, and uh, we got a great issue. Lots of fun. Lots of action. Um, lots of comedy, and then the reveal at the end of. The the Jane is fucking Mjolnir. Yeah, <laughs> this is. I mean, the, <laughs> this looks quite interesting going forwards. I'll be honest with you. This... It's one of those reveals that I like because it puts the whole of the rest of the issue in context. When you start mm -hmm. seeing, you look back at dialogue with things that the hammer was saying and whatnot. Cause yeah. The whole time you're thinking, who the fuck's this? Like, yeah. Who's put on this, this? Who's put on this? You know, masquerade or whatever. But. I, I really like the things that Aaron's doing with like the mythology of Thor. This character has got he came up packaged with mythology because he's based on a Norse god mm. who's been around for however many hundreds of years. But he's adding to it all the time um in really interesting ways. The stuff with the three kind of eras of Thor that we had at the beginning, I don't know if you guys read God of Thunder. I'm um, reading it now on on your recommendation. Oh, it's really it's good. Amazing. <laughs> really fucking good, and uh, and this stuff now with Mjolnir being having a lot more to it, like the way the stuff that I'm rereading at the minute, where Thor is he's like livid that Mjolnir has betrayed him. He tries to get the hammer back, and it starts doing things for Jane that it's never done for him, and it like kind of crushes his spirit a little bit. He's like, I don't know how, like I didn't know what's going on. There's obviously a lot more to this hammer than we realise. And next issue <coughs> is a like secret history of Mjolnir type issue. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun to read. Oh, man. <laughs> we, I, I mean, like, we're we're going to have a massive reveal in that issue. You can just feel it. It's it's building up to we're going to get some... Uh, that's just going to go... I can't wait to see what that is. It's going to throw th <laughs> a lot of things into context. Because obviously Odin forged and enchanted this hammer. Or supposedly forged and enchanted oh. this hammer. What the hell else went on? Like, is there some sort of spirit living in it? Who is that? Like, what... I just love how rich this story is and how how many things are going on at once and the cast just keeps getting bigger but he's handling it really well. We've got, we're going to have two fresh. titles as of like uh, a couple of months time because mm -hmm. we're going to have the un Unworthy Thor, is it called, as running parallel. Yeah. But so, I, it's, I'm just so excited for this book. It's just amazing every every time. Like it keeps being fresh. It's like it, it's new ground every time you turn a page. Well, not every time you turn a page, but you know what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. This is the one comic like which, admittedly, I'm going back and reading God of Thunder and getting more context to this. Yeah. But it's like, this is the one book where I'm just like, okay, I'm in. I'm in. This like it's not been like this since the Spectrum Wars with Green Lantern. Yeah. For me, like where it's just new stuff to uh, enjoy to a character that's so entrenched in history. Yeah. And doing something fresh and like, ah, this is interesting. The characters I love the most tend to have a lot um, of avenues you can explore. Uh, like Daredevil is a, a Catholic lawyer whose dad got killed by the mob, who has, who's, has a disability, like all these different interesting factors. And Jane's like dying of cancer. She's a female taking on the role of a male. Um, she's trying to live up to a legacy. She's trying to integrate with another society, like these gods that she is, and, and there's so many like interesting elements to her character that it just it the story just feels really fresh and rich. And I still love that reveal of uh, Lady Four being uh, a Jane in yeah. that. Oh, so still well love done. that. Still <laughs> love that. Just feels like when you're watching like magic happen. Um, every now and then you get you experience some sort of story for the first time and you know that you'll never be able to experience it for the first time again. Mm. Like, you know that something special is happening and, and uh, this is one of those books that's just... you're gonna. I'm going to reread this, like, in future years and look back on it, like, really fo so fondly and probably enjoy it every single time um, I reread 
it. It's just nice to know that that's happening as you go, mm. instead of only realising later or catching on after it's finished. So, we... oh, hang on! Before we go any further, go on, then. you got no comment on agents Paul and Barry Chuckle <laughs> in this one. They were amazing comedy value. <laughs> that they, they were, were some of the best part of this issue. I said it was a funny issue. It, it... was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, honestly, every time they rock up for the last for the last what, two issues they've been in, I thought these guys these guys are funny. And then this one, then they start banging on about Daredevil at the end. It was just yeah. <laughs> Um, one other comment on this one: the page with the Empire State Building, yeah. as um, as it's crushing the yeah. the spire at the top. Amazing. That was amazing. Really yeah. yeah, definitely. That really was good. some of the best laid out work I've seen. Even better than Barry and Wally Scott. Sorry. No, no, that's still my <laughs> it, panel of the year. The you can't shows, take that away from me. The way it shows, like the scope and strength, and yeah. yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. It's really, really good. I mean, yeah, but it's not Barry and Flash, do it? <laughs> Barry and Wally, stop, stop it. Dor- no. Dortmund's really become a superstar in the last couple of years. Um, I th- he did. I'm sure he did the third volume of God of Thunder, which uh, isn't the best sort of part of that run by any means. But he was nowhere near on this level. But since mm. taking on this sort of title, um, he's just become a fucking rock star. He's yeah. he's really high up there in in the, the the sort of talent pool at Marvel. Um. So yeah, there's no, I just haven't got anything bad to say about this book. No, nothing at all. Right, 